that's the easy part. Yeah. To commit to go. <laughs> that's the, that's the, uh, <laughs> it's like, I'm enjoying the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, committing what? to going is the first step to going to conference. Housing, there, there's lots of rooms, as we saw in the last week. Yeah, I just let them know if they can just share, you know, if you make the commitment to go, we'll get you a place to stay. Yeah. Be able to share a room. Mm -hmm. yeah. And some of you have free conference tickets. And really, it's the two times a year that our company, they spend a lot of money to put conference on. You really should go to reap the benefits of it, you know? It's really for us. And it's the two times a year that we actually go to work in an office, kind of. Not really, but um, and it's also like a family reunion. It's so fun. Anyway, back to our topic, which is um, getting customers or building your customer base, or I could have said inspiring healthy living, helping people make transformations, any of those things, right? Um, but I know that that you guys can relate when I say getting customers, so that's why I named it that. Um, anyway, so we have a, a few things on the agenda. I wanted to first hear from Karen Orlowski, who is the queen of getting customers and has probably the biggest customer base on our team besides Dr. Maloney Valentine and Dr. Philip Valentine. Um, and she had the most customers this month. Um, if we were doing team members, then we'd be calling on Desmond. So Desmond, watch out. We might call on you a different group um, because Desmond had four new team members. Every month, you want to at least get one new team member and five orders, okay? Um, and there's a whole thing called the Royal Crown. If you get five Trio customers and one team member who you get to HLP, you have to help them get that first bonus. And you help the person from last month get from HLP to virtual franchisee, then it's called the Royal Crown, those three different things, the orders, the HLP, and the VF, okay? That's the Royal Crown. With that, you make 590 extra dollars every single month. It's worth going for the Royal Crown, and so if that doesn't make sense to you, you need to have it explained more than you can talk to your sponsor. Um, but let's talk to Karen about um, how she looks at getting customers, and then we'll go from there. Mom news. All right, I'm going to do Karen. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, thanks. And I know that some of you guys being new, I know when I was new, I thought, how in the world am I going to get customers? Um, just to give you a brief, brief background, I started out and I was working at the Sun Sentinel. And it was a situation where I was not allowed to talk to anybody I worked with or I could be fired. And that was my whole world. That was where my friends were, all my employees. And I thought, holy cow, how am I going to get customers? So when I became serious, I actually started to do, and this is not something I recommend with my team, because I usually say go out and reach out to family members and friends. But I had a, a strange situation. I started to do green markets. I started to do trade shows, because that's how I, you know, got that warm market. Um, or it, it was cold market and it turned into warm market. So that's how I started getting so many customers. But once that helped me get comfortable because I didn't have anybody else to really practice on. So that was kind of my practice and it was easy. And the one thing I will tell you that, and I can't be the first person to tell you this, we do this living life. So then I learned that, you know, once I had children and we're at the soccer field and I'm at, you know, volunteering at the school and somebody has, you know, a sick kid or they mentioned something, you just say, oh my gosh, I don't know. You know, I would love to share with you. And you tell your little 30 second story. So I have done that. I mean, I haven't been arrested yet. <laughs> So I have done that in Publix where I see a mom that I don't know. She's got the kid with the snotty green nose. And I'll say, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I know it's, it's horrible to have, you know, kids that are sick and I'll just say something and I'll say, you know, have you, and I'll just, I want, I'll tell my story and I'll even just say Juice Plus. Have you ever heard of Juice Plus? I would love to share it with you. It's made such a difference in my, you know, my family's health. So, I mean, I could sit here, I could take up the entire time talking about how I talk to people and I'm trying to like rush it, but 
really you want to focus on your friends and your family first. I mean, we all kind of know that, um, you know, and you're going to meet people out living while you're on vacation. Okay. I know I have, um, team members who go on vacation and they come back and they get customers. I've gotten customers from conference, you know, flying to or from, and you're sitting on the airplane and you're, you're trapped next to somebody for five hours. And what are you going to talk about? You know? So, um, so that's great. And I tell you, once you get people on prospects, so the biggest thing I think is that you want to try and get as many people on your prospect list to become customers as you can. Because I know in the beginning, when I only had a couple of people to talk to, I felt like I kept pestering those people. You know, I was calling the same people all the time, you know, okay, well, are you ready? Have you looked at that information? And now I feel so much more relaxed because I have so many people that I have spoken to. And it quite honestly takes me a while to get back around to some of those same people that they don't feel like I'm, you know, I'm pressuring them and I don't feel like I'm pressuring them and inviting to events. So, you know, you want to, we talked about, I think it was not last week, last week was Labor Day, the week before overcoming objections. So when you're talking to people, not that many people are going to say, oh my gosh, I'm so glad you brought up Juice Plus. Yes, here's my credit card. Let's get started. I mean, it's amazing when that happens, but most of the time they haven't heard of Juice Plus. You need to educate them. And we've, we've learned in the past, it takes a series of at least five exposures. So you can't give up on people. You know, when you talk to people you're, and you can't feel like you're bothering them. I can't tell you how many times I have called somebody and continue to call somebody and follow up with them and leave message after message, even though I think, oh my gosh, they're going to get a restraining order on me. And eventually they call me back and they say, thank you so much for not giving up on me. Life has been crazy. Or my mom was sick or, you know, this happened at work or just different situations. So when somebody tells you, you know, look, I'm not interested, you go, you know, great, that's fine. You know, hopefully one day, but you want to not give up on people. You want to invite them to events. You want to send them videos. You want to invite them to a Facebook. We have so many different ways. You can Zoom events, Facebook parties, um, just so many different things. I also want to tell you that now I have customers. Getting referrals from your customers is another great way to get customers. So, you know, when you've got somebody that you know loves their Juice Plus saying, oh my gosh, you know what? I know you're, you love your Juice Plus. You know, is there anybody that you can think of that could benefit from Juice Plus? You know, do you have any family or friends? And this might also be a way you could eventually get a team member if they keep coming up with people that are signing up. But I've gotten customers that way. And also having a lot of events yourself. So I like to host events. I just am kind of like a party person. I like to have salad in a jar. I like to have, I do um, smoothie events. I do potluck events. I do wine and wellness. I do all kinds of stuff in my house. And I can't tell you that every single event I get somebody that orders. But what happens is, again, it's a series of exposures. So I have several customers that, you know, maybe came to a salad in a jar event and we keep it casual. I have out the samples. I always serve smoothies. And we tell our stories. Maybe they don't order that time, but they come to the next event. And then they hear some of the same stories. So sometimes it takes those two or three events. And I've gotten people who come in then and order trio and shake. And, you know, they've been now a customer for a couple of years. So, you know, I don't want you to get discouraged when somebody doesn't order right away. Because if you, you know, maybe some of you did get it right away. And maybe you were way smarter than me. <laughs> but I didn't get it right away. It took me a long time, you know, and, and people don't know what they don't know. So, you know, the biggest thing is just talking to as many people as possible. And I have so many customers every single month. It's some months it is hard, but even the months I have kind of taken off, all of a sudden I'll say, oh my gosh, I have seven customers. Guess what? I didn't talk to them all that month. This is like the snowball that you're pushing uphill. And then all of a sudden, it comes downhill. And so I will have a month where like a couple months ago, we were working on the house to put it on the market. I was hardly doing juice plus I hate to admit. And I had seven customers that month because people were finally ready of who I had talked to in the past. And it could have been, I had talked to them six months ago, three months ago, last month. I had somebody who I had some, I have two people who just signed up as actual team members and got started on juice plus that I met at events five years ago. And one was like two, two years ago. So my biggest thing I can tell you is just do not give up on people. Thank you so much, Karen. That's awesome. Love it. Love it. And she's right. You know, 
Um, everything just kind of comes together when you're really um, embracing Juice Plus as your identity or you're the healthier person. It doesn't have to be that you're perfect, but that you're on a journey to better health and that you might be a resource for people. It all comes together or that you have um, events or you have this person that you can plug people into um, who knows more than you and that's fine too or that you're in this community. All these things add together, but um, ask yourself, did I try to get customers last month? You know, because sometimes the whole month might go by and I didn't get customers. And so ask yourself, you might have a different reason than me. I might have been totally distracted. I might have thought about focusing on something else or, or I might have been in management mode or whatever for me. But what about you? Is there a reason why you may not have decided to get customers last month? Maybe you're not feeling like you're on the right track to your health. Um, maybe you're fearful of what other people think. You know, there's all types of reasons. Um, maybe you didn't get to it. So then it's maybe it's not on the high priority line. Um, and so I would love to, if you guys could um, think about that, you know, just think about, did I put forth my all? They have this thing called the two by two by two by two um, system where every day you should try to share with two new people. Okay, um, so that means getting out of your comfort zone and starting a conversation or you ran into somebody. So then you have a conversation. And then the second part of the two by two by two is you're following up with two people from a day or two ago, because it really doesn't take that long for them to watch a video. Um, so that's two follow ups. These are calls or messengers. You're just trying to move things along in your business. The third part is um, following up with two of your customers. If you don't have that many customers, you just keep continuing to share with people who are not customers yet. And then same with the last part is following up with two distributors on your team. If you don't have distributors, then you want to think, okay, I need to get distributors. So I'm going to want to, um, you know, just think about who do I want on my team? And that's who I want to start sharing Juice Plus with. So about eight calls or messages a day. If you can, you know, that's if you really want to move your business forward quicker. If not, then cut that in half and do four. But I think four is even big, you know, sometimes because we only paid $50 for this, we don't understand the potential in this business. The potential is huge in this business if you're consistent. So you want to be the best person you can in this business. So you're always working on personal growth, but you also want to understand the potential and be teachable. So if you don't know what to do on a certain day, how you would go about getting customers or whatever, call your upline, call your sponsor, say, Hey, do you have any ideas? You know, or, um, if you've talked to people and we don't know about it, we can't really help you. So if you say, I just talked to yada yada and they said this or that, and what do I, what do I do? then the sponsor or upline leader will help you to come up with next steps. And it's great to brainstorm like that. That's what you should do every day is talk to the person. If you're actively building, you know, some of us may have put it on the back burner for a little while, but let me just tell you, September is a big month. Okay. September is a great month to get restarted. It's like the January when you are in the health field, you know, so now is a good time and especially going in the conference. It's a great time. Um, and one reason why we want to focus on customers is this is a product driven business. So if I'm looking for new team, I need to look for customers because really the same people will, will come to be my distributors, you know? And so I need to keep, pretend there's a funnel. There's a lot of people out there in the world. And so I need a, a whole huge wide amount of people that I've talked to about juice plus. And then over time they become customers and then over time they become team members. Um, some people get it right away and they become team members right away, but some people are customers. So you really want to make sure you're adding customers so that they're going to have an experience, maybe a transformation. They're going to feel good. They're going to get more people on it. They're going to share referrals like they are with Karen, um, stuff like that. So um, part of you getting customers also is to build your own belief. Make sure that you really are embracing other people's stories of, of transformed health um, from Juice Plus. We just had a major Facebook event. And if you didn't get to read those stories, but you're in that event, um, you should definitely read the stories because what you want to do is you want to start collecting stories so that you can say, 
I know Juice Plus will help you. You want to be that confident. I absolutely know Juice Plus will help everybody. Do you? You know, you want to be super confident when you talk to people where they're not going to question whether you question whether Juice Plus will help people. Um, so those are a couple things. Let me see. Um, it's part of the, the reason why you might not have customers is you may not have followed up. That could be my reason. You know, I've got a lot of conversations going on here, there, and everywhere, but to sit me down and have me follow up, that is like the hardest part for me. So um, some days I make myself, Doug knows, like on a, a Thursday, I'll say, I'm just going to sit in my pajamas. I'm not leaving the house. I'll sit at the table and make myself, you know, because I just don't want to sit. I want to go out into the world, you know, um, but sitting and following up, they say the fortune is in the follow-up. Um, so anyway, okay, I'm going to show you some, uh, things, but let's see if, uh, Doug has any, um, words of advice or, or any comments on all that. I love hearing what he has to say. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not tonight, I don't. Okay. No, um, I was doing, I was putting together Ikea furniture all day. I mean, I'm just enjoying the, uh, the wisdom. Oh, okay, great. All right, so I'm going to show, I should not have called on him. That's what I'm going to hear later, right? <laughs> All right. So we're going to go to, um, I don't want to, um, okay. There's so many things that I, I'd love to share with you. Some of them I'll just share with you this. I was showing this to Allie earlier. This, if you haven't seen it is the research summary. So part of building your belief is knowing more about the research, you know, really embracing the research for yourself. And I'm not going to get into it, but, um, this is a document that I would take to a doctor um, or hand to somebody who I just feel like they would love the research. And that way I feel more confident. It's always been about me feeling more confident. If I'm doing a presentation, I do certain things to make sure I feel more confident. Before I would go to a presentation, I would listen. We used to have these calls. I would listen to them and I'd get pumped up about the research and what Juice Plus is doing for people in their bodies. Um, this, this is similar, you know, but you've got to like wrap your brain around it and own it. That if somebody says, well, I have MS, you know, how can Juice Plus help me? Then you can say well, this, that, and the other, um, or you could just show them the, the research summary. But um, knowing something about the research, even just the places where Juice Plus research has been done is really good. This is on your virtual office under um, Quick Links, I believe, and it's called Personalized Research Summary. So you want to take that to um, any any doctors that you're you're dealing with. Okay, we're going to go on missiondrivenmodel.info. We've focused a lot in the past weeks on the freedomrevolution.com. Tonight we're going to advance. We're going to advance to the missiondrivenmodel.info, which is our team leader Julie Kerb's site, and with all of our NMDs and leaders helping to contribute. And so this is an awesome site. Also, we're going to go under these are all checklists up at the top. We're going to go to building your customer checklist. Okay. Now Karen mentioned having a list, a list, you know, at least 700 people by the time you're 30. Okay. And it doesn't mean that you're going to go out and talk to all 700 at once, but that's a business plan. That's like a plan for four years or something or more. And it's also a way. So you sit down and you make a list. I think there's um, an example here. Here's a PDF example. Um, you sit down and make a list and you don't have to fill in every single block. I've never been like that. Um, but being able to just sit and make a list. So I would go back and think of a place I used to work. And initially when I think of that place I used to work, I'd only think of my best friend there. But then I would start to think, oh yeah, and then we would go and talk to this person and this person, and this person. So then you, you're expanding your memory jogger just by putting your, yourself back in that place. So then you write all those people down, not worrying about whether they're going to get juice plus or whether you're even going to be able to get in touch with them, stuff like that. You might say, Oh, my mom, my mom's friends are, and then you start writing those friends down. So these are people that you can pick up the phone. Hey, I'm whoever's daughter and you know, just calling you or you're messaging them or you're friending them on Facebook. So you just, you really could have so many pages of a memory jogger. Okay, your relatives in a certain area, your relatives in another area, your neighbors, your friends, obviously, all those different things. Okay, um, so the memory jogger is a great place to start. 
so that you don't hammer those same people over and over, um, just like Karen said. Okay, so then the second thing, so that has like a video and everything, and I do like the idea of this, and I know, I think Karen does this, right? Nod your head, Karen, she does this. I'm kind of more of a fly by the seat of my pants, so I don't do this, but I do love it. Um, I just wouldn't do it. So this is an option, you know, everybody's different. This is a paper thing. She keeps a notebook and she's really good about um, keeping track of everything. I love this part where it talks about the art of communication. So if you don't know what to talk to people about, these are the types of things that you could have good conversations about. Form, family, occupation, recreation, money, or motivation. So um, you can read up on that. And um, basically, it's a number of educational exposures. So that's why it shows over here, what materials did you give to these people? Did you give certain websites? Did you give certain videos? Did you um, give any other materials? Because sometimes you might talk to them one time and this happened, and then you might talk to them the next time and this happened and next time. But also maybe they just ran into somebody who just got on Juice Plus or they went to the doctor's office and they saw a poster there. Um, and they saw the Today Show and it said, you know, you need to eat more fruits and vegetables. So it sometimes a lot of things have to come together for people. So you've got to be patient and have many conversations happening at once. Okay. Um, so that was the memory jogger and prospect profile. And then, so we're still on building your customer base checklist. Remember the checklist up at the top? Um, here's a lot of good information you guys are going to want to see. Okay. Verbiage. A lot of people want to know, well, what do I say? I think it's not good to get caught up in verbiage, but people love verbiage. So it's here. I think if you share from your passion or your heart or your conviction and you're listening to people, you can't say the wrong, the right thing to the wrong person or the wrong thing to the right person. And you just don't want to, um, start verbally vomiting on somebody you want to just have um good good social skills so anyway there is great verbiage here though so i'm going to show it to you um and at least it might help you to get started like you can always look at this and say okay i'm going to go ahead and and reach out to somebody i'm going to reach out to somebody and what i found when i was really um sitting down building my business when um when the kids were home and, and I just wanted to make myself sit at the table and do juice plus calls or whatever, I would set my timer. Okay. Like say you, you only want to do it for a half an hour. That's fine. If you want to do it for an hour, I'll bet it's still going to be very concentrated work if you do it that way. So um, before you do that, you could always look at this and you could say, Oh yeah, I could do that. You know, I could do what they're saying here or here. Um, you know, do you have a few minutes to talk? I, I keep, you know, thinking of you. Basically, you want to tell people that you're thinking of them, you know, and that you think they would enjoy this information. Um, and so there's so many um, things here. And then you, a lot of people will like this. So what do you say when you're asked, what do you do? Here's some other verbiage that's attached to that. That's more of, you know, building your team. This is more of building for events. As Karen said, events are how we get customers also but it's how we really build team as well um so that's a whole page on verbiage that you guys can check out um i want to show you that if you haven't seen these product videos where is it oh it's not on here. oh there it is it's coming up okay um it's important for you to have some kind of story so this is where i really would love for you to get out a pen and paper Hate to ask you guys that if you're not near pen and paper it's okay but um, if you don't at least have this little bit down pat um, you know this would be very helpful so I was feeling whatever a friend told me about a simple way to add 30 fruits and vegetables to my diet every day I got started I can't believe the difference now I'm feeling whatever hopefully better right um, those that's such a basic story and that's all you really need because then you're gonna gauge whether or not people even care what you just said, and you're going to send them a video, or you're going to just continue that conversation or invite them to an event. You can say, you know what, we have events all the time. I'd love to invite you to learn more. Or, hey, my friend knows a lot more about this than I do, um, so I would love to get you connected. Is that possible? 
then you can hear his or her story. Um, so that's the product story. So can anybody just do that for me really quickly? Unmute yourself. I was feeling, who was feeling what? Rachel? I'm sure, sure. I'll, I'll do it. Um, I was feeling totally hopeless, stressed and overwhelmed when my kids were sick every other month that we were at the pediatrician. My friend told me a simple way to add 30 fruits, veggies and berries to my diet every day. And I got started and got my husband and kids started. I cannot believe the difference. After three months, we stopped going for sick visits. And uh, after three weeks, um, I started waking up before my alarm because before that I couldn't, I dragged myself out of bed. I couldn't, I just kept hitting snooze. I could not, could not get out of bed. So um, I have just so much hope because of um, what this has done for us. Vitality in my 40s that I didn't have in my 20s. My kids are healthy and happy. I love it. That's awesome. Okay, so now why don't you just go ahead and transition into the business part because, you know, oh. it should be. Well, I actually, um, when I first, once I understood what it was, because for 10 years I told everyone no, I didn't need that. You can't put fruits and vegetables on a pill. But once I was finally open enough and desperate enough to listen and hear the information, um, I knew I was going to share this with everyone. So I went ahead and signed up to partner with this company and share this with the people that I love and care about. And honestly, joining the mission has been one of my most favorite parts of my life because as a physical therapist, I take care of sick people. I try to help them get better. And I've always wanted to be part of the wellness and prevention. And we don't get paid for that in PT. We get paid once they're hurt, um, once they've had a stroke, once they need surgery. And um, it's kind of a Debbie Downer, honestly, to deal with people who have 20 medications and they're really not gonna get much better because they do have chronic illness. So um, being part of this community, has been such a, just um, a breath of fresh air for me, personally, professionally. I love being part of the wellness industry. I love um, educating people about prevention and I love making a difference. So it's been awesome. Great, and see how it really wasn't, um, it really wasn't obnoxious, it, it was great. We wanted to listen, <laughs> we felt her heart, you know what I mean? Like. There's it wasn't obnoxious. That's good. Well, I mean, you know, people are afraid to share sometimes um, because they think they're going to think something of them. Um, but we could have not. We could have shared this business one where she was having such an amazing health experience. She naturally started sharing it with others. She learned more about the company. She decided to join the mission, and then not only is she helping people get healthy, but she's also. Did you have a monetary amount or something that you're doing with your paycheck? Like I'm making a car payment. I'm doing oh, what I well, I am making the car payment and more. But um, honestly, this is becoming my plan A because I'm really tired of getting home at six or seven at night and missing out on the best years with my kids. I have a high schooler now. It's like time is flying. So I'm on a mission to make this my plan A in two years. Right. Awesome. And she is, she's growing her business. I know that. Okay. So isn't this awesome that you have these two quick starters for? Um, I'm going to put this in the chat so you guys can just, um, let's see if I can do that. I don't know if I can. <laughs> we'll see if I can do it. Chat. Here we go. Please, please, please. Okay. Yay. All right. So you guys can now copy that, text it to yourself maybe, or something from your computer so that you can start using this. It's so easy, right? Does everybody think that's easy? Um, the hard part is just for you to find the people to go out and share that with. So we share our excitement or our story, and then we share something to educate people because getting a customer is not keeping our customers. We want to educate or have an experience with them. Okay, so the second part of that where are we, um, is, and you could look at that other stuff later, is these educational exposures. See the next whole column? Events, product videos, three-way calls, social media, it all comes into play. Healthy Living Revolution is something you can send people and it's free and it's so quality and it's awesome. Um, I forget what image this was. I looked at that earlier. Um, anyway, so there's educational exposures. I wanted to show you in case some of the newer people haven't seen this product video area. 
Um, it's really nice. It's categorized in different sections, Juice Plus Complete, the Berry Blend, the Research, all kinds of good stuff. Okay, Spanish, Doctors, um, Younger Generation, Most Popular. So those are, are great for you to look at and find your favorite videos and also just to listen to videos. Um, use your, your car as your university, okay? And then social media comes into play. If you're on social media, it's a really great thing because you might post something on social media that then comes into play in person or vice versa. The other day I posted and I really meant it, you know, I don't do a lot of juice plus posts, but I think I, I was really, really thankful that I had my, my juice plus. And sometimes you can reflect on that. And that is a good place to come from in a conversation. I'm so thankful I have juice plus because I burn the candle at both ends or whatever. And so I posted that because I thought it, you know, and somebody said, what is that? Well, it turns out after lots of messaging back and forth and I went on a trip, she went on a trip and all kinds of things. And we had lots of conversations. She finally said she was ready to order. And I said, what's your phone number? She gave me her phone number. I called it. I got the whole order and I'm ready to hang up. I do hang up. And I see that her name is actually in my phone. And I don't know when I've talked to her in the past, but it's definitely been like maybe 10 years because I didn't even remember this, this lady being in my phone. So everything comes together. You've got to keep exposing people because you just never know. So social media messaging and she was already in my phone and I used the phone to call her. That all came together. You've got to um, try to, to use as many ways, shapes and forms to share juice plus, you know, um, and so now I'm going to invite her to an event and make sure she watches a video because she might order it now, but that doesn't mean she's going to order it forever. And my business, I like to look back and see that people from 19 years ago are still ordering. That is the residual income. The, the more we invest in this business, the more we get back. So we've got to um, continue to educate people through events, through videos, um, through thinking of them and saying, I thought of you when I heard this video. Um, and then there's the follow-up, you know, and the fortune is in the follow-up. And here are so many good things. Asking for the sale is another thing that prevents us from not getting customers. We need to ask for the sale and we need, we can, you know, just kind of take that leap of faith and do that if we're not really used to it. Um, and, you know, you can look at all these different things on missiondrivenmodel.info. And then Karen is really good at doing the vendor table. And sometimes people want to do that and sometimes people don't. It's really, it's more of a cold market thing. So you have to have the, the wherewithal to follow up with people who, um, you know, it might be five to more times that you follow up with them. So here are just some examples and, and information on here under getting customers on the vendor booth as well. So um, let me just go ahead and stop sharing. And does anybody have any comments or questions? I know that was a lot. It's all on missiondrivenmodel.info. Anybody? What about you, Allie? Congratulations on VF. Yes. Thank you. I, um, I need to, I think, put on that two, two, and two list. I need to like put two more and go to that vision-driven model um, two times a day. Yeah. <laughs> Check out yeah. a few new things, like you know, because there's yeah. so much, and sometimes I forget everything that's there, and then you show me, and I'm like, duh, or I'm texting you, <laughs> where did that okay. thing go? That's okay. You know what? When, when, when we didn't have the internet or cell phones or anything like that, it, it was, it's more of a resource, you know, it's just because now everybody's so savvy, they can put it all on the, the website and there's videos, you know, to kingdom come. Um, but it used to all be on just cassette tapes. Maybe we had a few brochures. It's really our mouth that makes the difference and following up. You know, our, our mouth is going to help people get on Juice Plus. Having a phone helps and then just following up within 24 to 48 hours. So um, don't be overwhelmed by the resources. The resources are there, 
but um, you don't even need them sometimes, you know? Okay, who else? Well, I just want to say that um, it just gets me all fired up. I mean, just, I love those resources and it's just amazing when you look at the, um, the scripts of like what you can say, it just, it's amazing how much info is there. And um, it just, I mean, I've been around this for a long time, but it's still, it makes me want to just go back through that and pick it apart. And there's always something more to learn. So I thought that was, it was great. Great awesome. job, honey. Thank you. And you don't, you can copy and paste, you know, you could just copy some of it and then text it to somebody and you'd be surprised. It works, you know, yeah, it, it does. really does work. So, um, how many of you want to get a lot more customers than last month? All right. Are we ready? Are we ready? All right. Well, congratulations. everybody! Awesome. And so we're going to see you next next week also on Monday at nine o'clock. Okay. And we'll have another okay. day. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you.